Here's my two and a half gallon range tank. I um, built using just the regular two and a half gallon gas tank and some fuel line I picked up at the hardware store. Um, got a little primer bulb here. Um, what I did for the seal here, um, I just made it up using some bolt stuck tape, some plastic lids, and uh, that gets a really good seal. I've pressurized this already with about, uh, I think it was about 20 psi, and it, it held no leaks, none whatsoever. So I'm very happy with it. Um, I still have to put a little fuel filter pickup thing up in there. I was thinking on putting this in there, but this serves another purpose, which I will show you real quick. This is going to be my air lot hookup. So what this engine does does not have a fuel hookup. Uh, fuel pump, sorry. This does not have a fuel. The engine does not have a fuel pump. So what it does is, after I screw this in there, the engine using the back pressure coming off the uh, crankcase, it uses that to pump this tank up, and um, that's what pressurizes this tank in order to push the fuel up to the engine. As the engine is going to be a higher elevation than the tank, um, the pressure coming off the crankcase of the engine is going to push the fuel through this hose line into the engine. So. Hopefully this will work. Um, it's a very, very hard, sturdy can. I mean, um, I can hardly push it in. It's pretty sturdy. So if this doesn't work, let's say it, it can't hold the pressure coming off the engine or something like that. In the worst case scenario, um, I'll just buy a, a regular Briggs and Stratton fuel pump and put that on my engine. Um, that way I don't have to worry about this whole two-line system to begin with. So, But um, it's an interesting idea. I thought I'd try it. And if it don't work, like I said, I'll pick up a fuel pump. So... So there, that's my idea for my uh, simple pressurized fuel system for a 56 Evinrude outboard.